I'm very happy to welcome you in our improvised studio. I'm happy to welcome our guest from China. Viktor Aristov is actually a citizen of the world, I would say. He is welcomed in many countries as if it was his home and he has many homes, we can say. And Victor is a welcome guest everywhere. Daniel is our guest from China. We are very happy to welcome you here. Today we have had a very active day. We've had several working meetings today. And I would like to know what your impressions are. It's really uh, impressive. We should come here earlier. First, uh, I, I think uh, we have a lot of uh, potential to cooperate with each other. We have big uh, production capacity, but we have uh, not have so many high technology de design. This is what we need. We're very happy to hear that. I think that today began the beginning of a new relationship. It may become one. And we will cooperate productively in the future. Yeah, we are looking for this. I can correct you a little bit. You call it something new, but many know that we started this project, we started the company together with the plant. Daniel is the vice president of the plant. He came here and he showed his intention and the intention of the plant to cooperate with us. And the company was created, as many of you know, six months ago when we started to get prepared for opening of our production. So, it's not really the start now. So, I would like to correct that a little bit. When I was speaking about the start of cooperation, I was waiting for you to correct me, and I wanted to dwell on this thought. Before filming this, we were discussing that the plant is one of the biggest on the territory of China, and it produces high-quality tools for all the world. Can you enumerate what brands you work with? Yeah, we have uh, been working with a long, uh, long history on the OEM business uh, uh, with uh, Makita, Matabo, uh, Shepak, Ryobi, uh, Skio, Stanley Black Decker. So every, maybe in every main market we have uh, very good partners here, even in Russia. We also have a lot of customers here. They are products of very high quality. I think that names, titles speak for themselves. Today, when we were having those meetings, we visited the territory of the Special Economic Zone in Nopolis, Moscow. We looked at the enterprises which are already there. We examined free space. We talked about the prospects of development of the area itself. We would like to hear your opinion on that. Is that place suitable for developing the business? Um, we are also planning to do something overseas. I think uh, this is also one direction, a very important direction. Maybe later I'll come back with uh, talk, uh, talk this option with my, my team, my president. Mm -hmm. One of the main questions is the following. We have visited the Design and Technological Bureau, Saulmash, the building, And you, a person who is involved in production in powerful plants in China, how can you assess what you saw? It looks very professional. Um, you, can, you use a lot of space. Um, you use every possibility in, in, this, space, in this building. And it's um, very different from uh, what a China factory looks like. Professional building, I think. Your factory is uh, big too, and 600,000 square meter. This is not small, but it's what's in interesting is looking is uh, you have in one, uh, one floor, one yeah. floor yeah, so production. Victor, you mentioned the company that you had created for interaction. Do you have any plans that we can share? Something which is going to happen this year? Well, we started the company to produce hand tools. To produce the fittings for those tools. The angle grinder, for example, we will now create four plastic parts which are to be poured. The molds have been created. 
and it was planned to launch it. But the round only delays on our side were waiting for the ready molds, 3D models, which must arrive for us to be able to produce the fittings. And that requires more work. We have seen that that work has been performed, we obtained the 3D models, and we can start creating the fittings. The parts themselves for fittings, the rotor and the stator, they were already obtained. All of that was launched already. So we have hope still that we will manage to produce the first batch by the end of the year, and then we will work on trimming saws, but of course our priority is the angle grinder. Can you please explain to some of our viewers that batch you mentioned, the pre-production batch, is it what the pre-series batch will look like? We need to test it, to look at it, and put it into production. Well, this pre-production batch, it's not only for checking, our checking. It is checking it with the clients. This pre-production batch is sent to the clients and we get feedback how it works, whether it is resilient, solid, the quality of work, and wishes of the client as well, what we need to modify, what we need to add. For that, we have those pre-production batches, kind of a battle testing, absolutely. I think that you understand it now, you understand the difference. It's also very interesting to ask Daniel. Today we had a tour of the leased territories of Savalmash. We showed the borders, which are developed by us, the drive that you knew of already, the inbuilt drive for the hand tools and other technologies of ours, direct drive, lift hoist and other things that you saw. What do you think? Maybe you saw analogs of that. For the motor technology, it's uh, quite different from uh, what we have done and uh, seen in China. Mm -hmm. Really good appearance of here. I had to, to see my eyes, the, the, the technology, how it looked like. Victor exp explained to me a lot, but uh, now it's really good to see here. What, what do you think about the possibility about a built here factory? What I uh, speak about? Uh, you show uh, area that can build factory, you saw um, positivity side from yeah. this area, from Technopolis, Moscow, because now is point is Western country, move left from Russia. His big marketing possibility. What do you think about this? I think if, uh, we have a great potential to do it like this. Actually, I saw myself with my own eyes, you know, when the COVID situation started, I left for China and I missed everything. It is the first excursion for me as well, the first tour over the construction site, and I have a lot of impressions to see it with my own eyes, to touch it, not only to watch videos with you and with your stories, you know. It would be fair to say that, Victor, you are one of the first persons who started all of it. And as far as I understand, you are not the participant of the project, you are the fully-fledged partner. And thanks to your effort, the current meeting took place. And also the possibility of the construction and everything that we are doing. You played a major role there, major direct role. Right. Since 2011, when ASPP Zelenograd was launched, I have been part of this project in Skolkovo. So yes, right from the beginning of this project. So yes, I'm very happy to see all the steps that have been made already. And I think that it is worth saying that we are in touch every day, every day, literally. A lot of equipment and everything which is necessary to Sovelmash. We acquire it thanks to you. Well, not all of it. Part of it is acquired without me, but many things, right? And this gives real satisfaction, because when you take part in this development yourself, when you feel an integral part of this whole, it's great. And yes, I am not only in touch with you, but also with Dmitry Duinov several times a day. 
opening new production in China, supplies of the parts here, opening production here. It is all so interconnected that now we cannot disconnect those elements. Another question for Daniel. How big is the market of angle grinders in China? And is it interesting to implement such technologies on the Chinese market? Yeah, I think it's a great potential. For angle grinder is uh, I think the number one quality um, power tool in the market. I think uh, the quality potential is the old, the old world, I think, uh, meaning tips in here. Great potential. Another interesting question. Creation of commutatorless motors in China. Is it in demand in China? Not BLDC that are widely spread, but energy efficient induction motors. Yeah, I think this uh, market direction. Uh, industrial tools need uh, more energy saving and uh, give the, the user uh, how to see this, this new design with a light weight and you can work in much longer. Uh, it's really good for the, for the industrial user. I could add on it. The Chinese government is now paying a lot of attention to increase of energy efficiency, of energy consumption. This area is important. E3 and E4 reaching those levels. China is now using E2. In Russia it is the E1 standard for the moment. And China wants to get to E3 and E4 standards. So implementing technologies that allow to produce at lesser costs, save material and get a much higher class of efficiency than what they have now, it has a huge potential for the Chinese market. If we take into account that the Chinese market of electric motors uses 50% of the motors on the earth, so if we change the situation in terms of energy efficiency in one country, we will improve climatic conditions by 50% globally. We can look at it from this angle. I think that our viewers must understand that if we speak about such figures and the economy of China as a whole, implementation of the Slavanka technology on the Chinese market will have a major impact on the economy of the Russian Federation and on the development of the technology. Right, cooperation between Russia and China is developing a lot now. Many go back to the times when the Soviet Union was very close to China, when there was very close cooperation, and now it is getting renewed. And there is some fear among our viewers that this technology can be transferred to the Chinese market only, and it will be isolated from the Russian market. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that it is rather a win-win cooperation. Absolutely. Something that Daniel has mentioned already. There are good possibilities for production. However, as for developments, any company, any successful company is working closely in terms of development and in terms of implementation, that is, production. If these two elements are not united, the company will not be successful, and the Chinese partners understand that. Well, I think that in what concerns day one, we have received exhaustive information. We must take into account that this is only day one of the meetings, and we have already had many of them. And if we have the possibility and the wish, we will be able to make more videos closer to the end of our work in the framework of this visit. And maybe something will change and we will share that with you. Thank you for your attention. And thank you for your participation. And for your comments. Thank you. Thank you. It's a pleasure. Thank you very much. 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 Thank you very much.